Hello, Rock and Math subscribers. Got something I need for you to do. Just a little something. Modeling Pythagorean Theorem. I want this worked if you have time. Those of you that's currently taking a class, you can easily bring this. I'm going to do them, it's about 10 questions. Real good material to test your skills. If you are taking a class, taking an 8th grade class, this is a supporting TEEK or supporting standard 8.7C, which means you previously learned it in 8th grade, in 7th grade, I'm sorry. So, anyway, take a, take a look at it. I guarantee you that you know more than you think you know. But you want to make sure that you, like I'm here on question one, that you pause the video Work the questions, write your, record your answer, go back, and um, and don't just give me A, B, C, or D. Draw the picture for me so I can see what you're doing. All right, let's see, can we get going? First problem, which figure best represent a triangle with sides A, B, C, in which the relationship A squared plus B squared equals C squared is always true? Problem number one. Again, pause it. Write the question. Then come back. Okay, question number two says line segment D is the diagonal of each polygon shown below. What does that mean? What do you think that means if it's the diagonal? Um, which drawing shows enough information to find the length of line D? So you think they would be trying to say that line D is the hypotenuse? Hmm. Okay, go ahead and pause it. Work the problem. Okay, here we have problem three and problem four. Let's take them one at a time. Problem three says three squares are combined to uh, form a right triangle. As shown below, given the area of one square and the side midge of another square, determine the area of the larger square. I wonder, are they asking us? Oh, three is a good one. Notice what it has. It has A is 121 inches square. Hmm. And then it has S, which is another leg, says 21 inches. And then A. Oh, that's going to be a good one there. So go ahead and pause it. Work three. Okay. Now, four says three squares can be assembled to create a right triangle as shown below. So here, they're giving you A is 676 inches square, S is 24 inches, and A is unknown. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm going to have to give some major points if you're able to work these. Major, major points. You're going to love it. All right, go ahead and pause and work for Okay, now that you're back, let's take a look at problem five. Now here, we're on a coordinate plane. Or, we're on this particular dot paper. Either way it goes, it's giving us really good information. You may have to make sure that you count where each is located and the spaces in between. But anyway... What would be the area of the square that is built on the remaining side of the triangle? I wonder, are they talking about the hypotenuse? I guarantee you it is. Hmm. Okay. Stop it. Work the problem.
problem six and problem seven. They are getting better and better and better. So we're going to go up and work six. Well, we're going to have to work six for face value and then go and look at the answer, post the answer choices for you. Which figure best represents a triangle with a side? A, B, and C, in which the relationship is A squared plus B squared equals C squared is always true. Whoa. So there's answer choice A. Answer choice B. That's sort of funny to me. C. And then D. Oh, this is this is very, very obvious to you. I, there's nobody. So again, um, probably need to pause it to write the question. Then I'm going to scroll up to show you your answer choices. You probably need to pause it here to see your answer choices. Okay, let's take a look at 7. Which equation can be used to find the length of side P. Oh, this is great. This is absolutely great. So here, you look and determine all oh, these composite figures here. Oh, it's going to be easy. It's going to be easy. All right, go ahead and pause it. Work seven for me. Problem 8. Which set of numbers do not represent the length of a side of a right triangle? Do not. Oh, it looks like to me some Pythagorean triples come into play. But you know what to do. Use a formula. Stop it and you'll be fine. Use a formula for 8. Go ahead and stop, pause the video and work 8. Okay, let's take a look at number nine. Which figure best represents the relationship of the sides of a right triangle? Again, another Pythagorean just relationship with that Pythagorean theorem. It's really, really something that's going to be coming up on your on your test, something that you should have learned in seventh grade, so make sure you're familiar with it. So here, um, it has A has 8, 6, and 10. B has 6, 6, and 10. C has 1, 2, and 3. And D has 3, 6, and 4. And again, you are looking for um, which figure best represents the relationship. Unlike number 8, you are looking for the one that is not a right triangle. Here you are looking for the one that is a right triangle. And again, go ahead and pause it. Write the questions, then come back and look at your answer choices. I think that's pretty obvious there. I'll let you look at half at a time. There's A and B. Pause it there and determine if that's what you're looking for. And then here's C and D. Pause it there and see if that's what you're looking for. Last problem. Which set of numbers do represent the length of a side of a right triangle? Do represent. So, go ahead and pause it. Again, you can think about those triples, but if you can't think about the triples, then you can just simply... I just want to do this for you so bad. <laughs> You're just looking at... 4 square plus 5 square equals 6 square. Or you're going to look at 1 square plus 1 square equals 2 square. Yeah. Or you're going to look at 6 square plus 8 square equals 10 square. Or you're looking at 7 square plus 9 square 
equals 11 squared. Hint, 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 hint. All right, you go ahead and um, work these problems. Uh, put them in the comment section. Those of you that's just catching up with your, or uh, keeping up with your, your actual uh, skills, but those that are actually in the classroom with me, bring these 10 problems in for some major, 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 major points. This is Mr. Taylor, Rockin' Math. See you soon.